What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the various options for creating photorealistic renderings out of your models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I just wanted to make a video and kind of walk you through uh, what 3D rendering is, um, some different kinds of 3D rendering, and also some options for some different 3D rendering programs. So 3D renderings, when you take your SketchUp model and you apply light to it to make it to make the materials and everything else in it look more realistic. So a lot of the more photorealistic images you've seen out of 3D models are created using 3D rendering softwares. This is very useful for creating presentations and also for illustrating what things are gonna look like in real life out of your models. At the moment, there's two different kinds of rendering. There's pre-rendering and there's real-time rendering. So pre-rendering is kind of the traditional form of rendering. Um, you know, where you take your you take your model, you export it to a program, or some or a lot of them work inside SketchUp anymore, and it uh, basically applies light to it to create a static image. Uh, this usually creates a very high quality, realistic looking image, but it takes a long time to do because there's so much calculation that has to be done in those programs. So some, some examples of some pre-rendering programs include V-Ray, Twilight Render, Thea Render, Podium, and Kirkathea. And those are gonna range in cost kind of all over the place, just depending on the features, uh, defend, depending on um, just, just a lot of different things. But if you're just getting started, there's definitely free options out there that you can use in order to get started and kind of learn some of the basics before you need to graduate into the more paid programs. So V-Ray is probably the industry re leader right now. Um, it's a very, very robust uh, professional program, and that's going to run you about $700 at the moment. So, but then you've got programs like Twilight Render, which has a free, almost full featured version, as well as Kirkathea, which is also free. So those really range in cost. I believe Thea Render is running about 500 right now, and I think Podium is running about 200. So those are really gonna vary in cost, and when you select them, you're basically gonna, gonna wanna select those based on the features that you want. And most of those have a free trial, so I'd recommend downloading those and just giving them a try and seeing which ones you like. Um, I've also created a series on creating renderings using Twilight Render that I'll link to up in the corner. And Twilight Render also has a free version that you can download so you can use that to kind of get started. So the other kind of rendering that's out there right now is called real-time rendering. And basically that's rendering where you drop your model in and it uh, basically renders everything in real time. So it applies all the light, makes everything look really realistic. Uh, you may get slightly you may get slightly less realistic images than you do out of the pre-rendering softwares, but honestly, as time goes on, uh, it's getting closer and closer to um, the images being the same kind of quality. So basically, the real-time rendering is almost like a game engine. So you drop your model in, then you can actually walk around in your engine in real time. You can add things like cars and trees and people walking around and all that different stuff. You can change the weather. It's very powerful stuff. And you can basically just walk around your model. You can quickly and easily create animations, that sort of thing. So the trade-off on these kinds of programs is they're a lot newer, and a lot of them are a lot more expensive. Um, so I would say right now Lumion is the leader in that space, and a Lumion license is going to run you, depending on the one you pick, anywhere from $1,700 to $3,500. Um, Lumen RT is another one. I think that one's from Bentley. That's probably going to run you about $3,200. So Inkscape's going to run you about $450 a year. They're on more of a subscription basis. Um, which sounds like a lot of money until you kind of compare them to their competitors and then it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, and then I've actually, I've seen architects earlier this year, they're using Inkscape to, they'd adjust their model and then they take screenshots out of their Inkscape rendering and they'd send those over to the client to illustrate different changes. So they're using the speed and quickness instead of having to go through and create a V-Ray rendering or that kind of thing that's super high quality, they can just pull it straight out of these real-time rendering softwares. So like I said, they're very new, but they're very powerful. And uh, most of those have a free trial as well, so I'd recommend just going and giving them a try and seeing what you think. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.